All right, guys, here is where I left you last night. I was so exhausted. I was sitting there trying to think of something to do, and my mojo just ran out. <laughs> but I am kicking on all cylinders this, this morning. Woo, woo. <laughs> okay, so this is a, um, oh, SB. What is SB? It's not Sizzix. It's, um. Wow. SB. Labels. Spellbinders. Woohoo! I thought I was kicking on all cylinders. Spellbinders Labels 22. I believe that's a 22. Um, I think I'm going to make a window pocket. Um, so, and I, I like this pattern. Um... So I need to find a paper that is going to work for this. So let me go through this real quick and I'll find something. Okay, so I got my sides on and getting my, hopefully this tape off of here without damaging. Come on. Just take your time. There we go. And then there's a little bit on this. There we go. Okay. Ah! Boy, that stuff just keeps sticking. Alright, so now I am going to put my... Uh doodad on here yeah my acetate <laughs> and i have started using this barely art precision craft glue so i'll keep you posted on what i think about this i'm just gonna put some glue around the edge here and then i'm gonna put it on the acetate and we'll see if this is going to glue or not because not all glues will do acetate I did get a little squirt out of the front here, so I want to clean that up. Where's my rag? There we go. All right, well, it looks like it's going to dry nicely. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, now I also want to think about how easy it's going to be to get this in and out, which means I think I want to put a small something over the edge here which is going to latch over the top of the um, the acetate. Because sometimes when you're putting the picture down in there, it's going to stick on that acetate. And we don't want that. We want it to run smoothly for the customer or for you. But that's going to look pretty. And I also want... 
to glue this down in the right spot. So let's see. And it would have been easier to do prior prior to putting the acetate on. It would have. Okay, so yeah, it, it definitely would have been a lot easier. But I think, let's see, it, I just, I think there's going to be an easy way to make this accomplished. Let's see what we can come up with here. This tip allows a little bit more glue than the tip on the, uh, It'll, it, it allows a little bit more glue to come out. And this glue seems to be a little more liquidy. And I'm not seeing that as being a bad thing. Just a little more liquidy. So either one or the tip, both. Okay, I'm going to grab it. I'm lining it up. Grabbing it. And of course, it's moving all around. Get the outside set the way you want it. Oh, and it moved. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Yeah, don't put the acetate on until you put this down. Oh, boy. Okay, get it where it want it. And move this around so it fits into place. And I can feel that droop glue drying pretty quickly. There we go. A little more fiddly, but not too bad. And I had a little bit of this blue showing in the frame, but now that I've put this down, the blue is not showing in the frame anymore. So that's good. All right. Uh, so what do I want to fold over the top? Um... It has to be long enough, but not too thick. So I don't want to use the cardstock. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Um, I'm seeing if any of my any of these bits or pieces would uh, would work for me. I need to get those pockets and all that worn out. So maybe I will put some ah, this right here. I'll put some of this on here. So I'm going to cut myself. Let's see. What is this? This is a half an inch. So I'm going to cut myself three eighths of an inch or so. Well, let's do it a little bit. Yeah. About three, about three quarters. Yeah. About three quarters of an inch, not three eighths of an inch. About three quarters of an inch. And then I am going to grab my scoreboard. And at one, two, three, eight. So at a half an inch, I'm going to score it. Is that right? Let's see. One, two, three. No, at three eighths of an inch, I'm going to score it. There we go. And then flip it over. 
so now let's see of course I'll have to cut it to size so that way yeah I like it yeah that'll be good and that way it will also make this top piece a little more um, secure okay a little more secure and then I'll just have to get that so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down I'm just gonna do one side at a time <coughs> excuse me my allergies we've we've had rain today wind today it's been quite the day all right just making sure it's all the way to all the way up to the uh the score mark you get a little bit more of a play time with this glue than you do art glitter but not much little bit more but not much which is good because it you know once it kind of grabs it's it's good it stays down but there all right I keep picking up everything let me Clean my area a little better here. There we go. Love that little thing. All right. And then we're going to set it down. Make sure we can. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. All right. glue our three sides down all right there we go and because we put the ends there, it is lifted up a little bit already. So it's nice from the piece that's behind it. And it gives it a little 3D effect. But oh, that is so cute. Can you see how it it's, uh, gives you a 3D effect? That is really darling. Really darling. All right. And that is going to go on this side. And I think I'm going to close this with magnets. So let me get... Ah! Okay. And I think I will use... La, 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 la. La, la. Why aren't you letting me get you? Oh, for heaven's sake. Something in the way. There we go. I think I will use a little bit of my magnet savers. Because there will only be a strip of paper on. Ah, oh, won't go in, won't go out. Take that out of there. I think that was my problem. Those little plastic drawers are great, but then they're also not <laughs> okay i have a little edge from where it got cut with the scissors so i'm just pressing that back down okay i'm gonna go ahead and glue this down let me give it a little snip don't cut off any of the score line OK, 
Okay. Make sure it's nice and even. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Push it to that back score line a little bit better. Let's burnish. Good. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Let's get a magnet. I'm going to pull a few out for myself. So I don't have to go through this every single time. All right. Let's see how it does on metal. Let's see. So right here, I'm going to put it in the center. I'm going to put a dot of glue and some score tape underneath it. Probably would have been better since I don't have fingernails. Ah, both of my Both of these fingernails have just, uh, just died on me. They broke. Now, I want to make sure that this is open. Giving that a little better score. That it's open and not flat. So that we still have our room. Lay this down where it is landing nicely. On there and push and there we go so now we have our magnet okay so um, I'm gonna pick some other papers I think um, and I'm going to blue all around I'm gonna be using a lot of this blue paper but it's saving it um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and blue everything up you know all, all my edges uh, I am going to do a pocket, which uh, some of our leftovers will be perfect. I'm going to do a pocket here. And that's almost long enough, so I will just make myself some, with this piece, uh, score it and make myself some uh, pieces for that. And then I did want to do a piece here. So uh, I will have to get a little bit more blue paper cut for that because I don't have anything for that. And I'm just wondering if I should, ah, come here, if I should go ahead and do this on the pockets. I think that would be very, very pretty. So I'm going to do uh, do this on the pockets as well. So I'm going to cut my paper to go with it, line everything across the top, line this across the top and center it, and run it through on both pockets. Hope that makes sense to you. I'll be back and show you the finished product. So just to bring you along for the ride, I went ahead and I cut my paper onto my pocket. I cut the pocket the length that I wanted, the the width that I wanted. It's approximately two and a half, um, which is six, yeah, six centimeters. So that's that's where that is. Uh, I haven't done anything to it yet. I'm going to center from left to right but push the paper, the designer paper, all the way up to the top edge of the blue paper, okay? 
Then I'm going to take, and the magnet's holding everything together here, I'm going to take my, let's see, yeah. It's easier for me to center it looking at it this way. See, there's that. Make sure my papers are right at the top. I didn't miss anything. Fold it over. Double check it here. And this paper did get askewed a bit. So let me see here. Make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. Well, there is something wrong with straightness. Something wrong with straightness here. Now that looks fine. That looks fine. Oh my gosh, I can't pick anything up with these broken nails. So let's try this again. Line it up, both left and right. And here comes my puppy. Make sure we're straight. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna run it through now.